G'day guys, welcome back into another video on the channel and in today's video we are doing our first game day vlog. A lot of stake in this game, the winner goes through to the prelim, the loser's season is over. Ormond v East Sandy Rovers, let's go. If you guys are new to the channel, I would appreciate it if you did like and subscribe to it. We are on the road to 900 subs and also 1k, which we want to try hit before the end of the AFL season. Let's see how we can do that. Been a hard year for us, only winning the one game, but since we've only got four teams, we automatically make the semi-finals. And we know this team is definitely going to test us to see if we can make a prelim final. If you guys can also go check out Swan Sessions' channel, he was able to bring his camera to the game and also film. So massive, massive thanks to him. Alrighty, the lads are ready for a big day out here at Hyatt Reserve. We're jogging out now to the ground. We know we're a chance at winning this game because we've come close to Ormond a few times this year. We've lost to them by one point in a very controversial loss. We've beaten them, um, we've lost to them by 10 points. And here's us sidestepping, jogging around the square, telling Ormond who we are. Here's me having a set shot. It was a pretty good kick. Ended up kicking it quite far over the fence. Off to the road, actually. Then we were doing some crisscross handballs. Getting ourselves hyped up, warmed up for a big day out here. We, we know we're the underdogs here. We lose the toss, sadly. And we're kicking to the left on screen for the first quarter. Which I guess is probably better because we get to kick to the right in the last. Here's Coach Charles giving us the game plan. I was playing fullback. I normally play halfback. I was playing fullback because we had a few outs and we had to push a few people up the ground. Here we go. Game's about to start. Ball's about to be thrown up. Hamish gets the first hit out straight to Archie. Hamish puts his head over the ball. Gets the free kick, luckily. And will go our way straight into our forward 50 very, very early on. Bombs it straight down the middle. Straight to our forward 50. Then there's me on my opponent. Same height as me. Pretty similar build. I played him a few times. We kick it. The opposition kick it straight down. Straight high up. Fog marks it. It's a pretty good mark in the end. High, long kick. Good spoil by the opposition. Now I thought I was on here. Sprinting, sprinting for the ball. Very unlucky. Bounds will go out of bounds for a boundary throw in. This play right here was pretty good by Auburn. It was a poor kick. It went straight up basically in the air. Good spoil by Harvey. And then Ben, I know this player, Ben, he's played him a few times. He's actually pretty good. He goes up, straightens up, but just kicks it on the full. Here's my first kick of the game. Straight down, straight back to the opposition. It was a pretty poor kick in the end. It was, oh, it was probably one of my worst games all year as well. I didn't play too well. Good pick up from uh, Harvey. I was telling him to rush it behind. I don't know why he didn't. Really good tackle by Archie Clark. I think it was a dangerous tackle and he missed. Oh, I got possession of the ball once again doing kick out. It was a pretty poor kick in the end, actually. But it works out. Hamish, well done. He played, probably, he was probably our best player all day. It's a good kick, centering it to Sonny. And Archie, good tackle in the end on Anti, sadly. Ben plays on number one, straightens up, kicks the first of the day. Ormond get first blood, sadly enough. Very unfortunate that Ormond do get the first goal, but we get on our scoring board and kick out the first score of the game, and Ormond go on to kick the ball out, straight out to the left side. Probably a bit risky though, because he kicks it to a pack and we probably had the more numbers. They had the height though, Billy does really, really well on this little guy. Then we get a small snap straight to Ollie directly in front. Four minutes left in the first. Hamish is calling all the people in the back line, including me. We get all around Ollie if he kicks this goal, which he, he definitely would. He definitely should anyways. He's directly in front. He does. He doesn't miss out. We all get around Ollie. And we kick our first for the game. Now moving on to me, kicking out, third or fourth kick out already this game. It's a very shock, I went straight up. It was very bad in the end. Didn't work out very much, but we did get possession of the ball. Pretty good quarter by the boys, eight points apiece, one goal two to one goal two. I got a few kicks here and there, had a pretty poor quarter to be honest. But it was a pretty good effort from the boys to stay in touch. 
But second quarter coming up right now. Big second quarter. Good hit out by Hamish. Collects the ball once again. We pick it up and it'll be a ball up. Now Archie goes long and finds Anti all by himself. There's three players around him. He sh probably should not have taken that mark. He's all by himself. Taking a set shot. Not, not a bad angle, really. He's a pretty good kick of the footy. He's kicked a few goals this year. Let's see if he can kick out second of the game. It was a good kick in the end, but Sally did not make the distance, and it's rushed through from up behind. Ashton then takes a mark as well. He then has the opportunity to kick our second here coming up. He has been one of our better kickers all years. I think the second leading goal kicker in our team. It was a good kick in the end, but sadly misses. Sonny Git and Jimmy have an opportunity. As you guys can see from the scoreboard, we lead by two points to St. Paul's Ormond. Then I absolutely bulldozer over number 27. Sadly, it was a free kick against me for high contact. I was going for the ball, really. It's a pretty bad kick from him in the end. Doesn't make the distance to the player. But anyway, good tap out by Harvey. Sonny gets there. Ante's there. And gets another behind Ante. Not having the best kicking day today. Then Sunny kicks Soccer's one in the goal square. They're calling for touch, but the umpire calls it a goal. 17 to 8. We go straight back out of the middle, straight to Ashton on the brink of half time. He has a shot for his first goal of the afternoon. He's already had a shot, as you saw before. It's a good kick in the end, straight through the big sticks. We all get around him, trying to waste as much time as possible. There's about 20 seconds left on the clock before half time. We pump on 16 points in that quarter to zero. Absolutely beautiful quarter in the end. As the third quarter starts, we want a really big quarter to hold this good lead on them. Good tap by Harvey, straight to Seb. Seb gets the clearance kick, has a shot at goal. Straight to Ashton for his second. Goes around the body. Going, going, going. It goes all the way with a beautiful stop to start the quarter. Well done, Ashton. He kicks his second. He's having an afternoon and then Big Sepik straight out the middle once again. Kicks a miracle from the boundary. What a snap. We all get around him. Then this play right here. He trickles over the behind me. But the thing is, I got a massive clear push in the back. Ormond get their second goal of the game. And they're making a tiny bit of a comeback. 36 to 14. The, on the brink of three-quarter time, Seba has a shot to give us a bit more of a lead. He sadly shanks it. It was a very close shot. He should have easily kicked it. We're trying to slow the game up a lot so they don't get any momentum, but they get a kick out of full back because we get a minor score. Then they have a set shot from about 30, 40 out or something. He is not a bad kick of the footy though as well. I've seen him kick a few times um, the last time as we played him. He goes long and far. It wasn't a bad kick. Doesn't make the distance. And in the end, they mark it from a very, very, very bad block. There was a clear block on it. You got pushed into the post. They have a set shot. This guy absolutely shanks it. My man, he rushed it so much. He could have gone at an angle. I try to get advantage on this play, and the umpire calls it back. It was a turnover basically almost instantly. This guy, I know, does not have the journey right here. There's about five minutes left. We're nowhere through to the prelim final it wasn't a bad kick in the end and it was rushed over by me it was a good rush and i end up taking the pleasure of kicking it out there's about three minutes left i find someone short it was a very i kicked it very badly it was a very short i find hamish in the end he pumps it long down the line six minutes 30 left we're up by 22 points then the little man smothers Cameron. Cameron probably pins him holding the ball. It wasn't, though. It was an umpire's ball in the end. Push in the back was a clear push. Umpire doesn't play. I think he pays advantage in the end. Number 20 then marks the ball. Pretty good mark in the end. It was contested. It probably should have been spoiled. Plays on. Long down the line. It was a Good. It was a drop mark by Swino in the end. He's been pretty good with his contested marks. Cameron then tries to kick it. Then Archie goes over the ball, gets tackled by four different people. The final siren sounds, and I'll let you guys see the rest. Well, 
done. Ball over the moon. We've got our second win of the season. Walking off. Now, let's get to the team song. Quick note, we are a merge team, so we sing two songs. is the game day vlog i hope everyone has enjoyed this video prelim final week game day vlog next week get around it i hope everyone enjoyed it big big thanks this one season again and i'll see you guys in the next one peace